Hello lovelies! It is time for another makeup haul from Glambot and as you probably know at this point they are probably my favourite place for like cheap high-end makeup because it's basically stuff that people have owned before, either something that's been used a little bit and then sanitized or things that haven't been used at all. Like a lot of people in the makeup community love to buy all the new makeup that comes out and then it never gets used and it sits in a drawer for ages and then a lot of it ends up on Glambot. So it's things such as that, as I say, some things are also gently used and it's just really, really great. Side note, I actually have um, a much, much, much bigger makeup haul coming soon. I've already filmed it, but it's gonna be really, really long and I haven't quite got the willpower to edit it yet, but just so you know, that's on the way. Uh, but this is gonna be a nice little short haul today, hopefully, <laughs> it shouldn't take me too long. Uh, so as I say, everything, oh my goodness, is from Glambo. I need a better makeup storage system. At this point, like, I don't really have a place for my makeup. It's right now spread out between three random boxes that are just filled with random makeup. I have no organizational system, and here I am with more makeup, great. <laughs> It's, it's a problem, guys. <laughs> so, everything was like super bubble wrapped. It came like... Uh, everything came sort of like, so there's this big bubble wrap envelope. This came inside another bubble wrap envelope and then everything inside it is in more little bubble wrap packets. So everything is quite secure. And I am just gonna start pulling stuff out. So there's definitely, like, a lot of the time Glambot will send little freebies with orders, orders. So, like, you know, samples and, like, you know, miniature sizes that companies do as promotions and stuff. I just heard something fall, and I hope it wasn't something important out of this packet that got... Ay. Let's just, let's get in. So this, I believe, looks like one of said freebies, because I don't remember ordering this. And this is Lorac CC Color Correcting Cream. So I wonder what color this is and if it would be useful for me because honestly with anything skin related whether or not it'll work for me is a big gamble because I am wider than a sheet and often it just doesn't quite work out which a lot of the items I got actually are skin related oh my god I'm covered in my lipstick thanks to that Ugh. a lot of the items that I got are skin related but you know I figured since I was doing this video it'd be a good chance to try out some new things so this is the CC Color Collecting Correcting Cream and it's in such a cute little, th I love like miniature sample things because they're just so freaking adorable. Eh, oh. <laughs> okay, so that is, can't actually get my light to dim down, but I mean, it's not really showing that well because my lights are very bright, but it is like orange. Oh, so very orange. So this will be a miss from me, but as I say, this was just a little free sample anyway, so I might see if there's anyone I know who wants this that is less ghosty. <laughs> Next up we have, ah, this is Makeup Forever Step 1. <laughs> I don't have the other steps, so hopefully it's not needed. But this is called Skin Equalizer, and this is a redness correcting primer. So it is green, I believe, at least the packaging is green. I'm assuming with it being a redness primer, the product will also be green. It is indeed. So there, you can see it's like a mint green, and I think yeah so this is a primer and it will actually help with redness because that is definitely an issue I have with me being so pale um like my skin is pretty much see-through so if you rub it even slightly my whole face goes red basically and I get a lot a lot of redness around my nose and like all my really bad um acne scars and stuff are still very pigmented so this actually goes pretty translucent once you rub it in but I'm still excited to see if it works it feels pretty gone. It feels pretty nice for a primer, so I am looking forward to trying it. Okay, so next up is this Bobbi Brown SPF 30 BB Cream, because I've really been wanting something just, like, that isn't an expensive, well, it's, like, not, like, a heavy, full-blown, like, foundation if I just want something light for going out for a day. A lot of the time, if I'm just nipping out somewhere unimportant, I just won't wear foundation at all or, like, any makeup, really. But sometimes, you know, my skin is a bit crap and I'd like just a little bit of coverage. So I got this Bobbi Brown one. And this probably won't be visible on the camera if it's anywhere near my skin color, but... It's... It's alright. I'm pretty sure this is, like, the palest one I could find. This is... Yeah, extra light. It's... It's still quite a bit darker than my skin. It is definitely a lot darker than my skin, but I feel once it's really buffed out, it hopefully wouldn't make too much of a difference. 
I could even put just a tiny dab of my um, white mixer that I use with my foundations into it as well, just to peel it off a bit. Like I said, it'd just be nice to have like a little thin sort of layer of coverage. And it's SPF 35 and it's meant for your face because I find whenever I put just actual sunblock on my face, I get really bad spots. So at the very least, it'll be good for that. Next up is, oh, this is Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Um, oh, so Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. And this is in the shade 117 equals Y225. From what I could see online, I was trying to look at swatches online, from what I could see online, this one looked very pale. Looking at it in this little little stick, it, it, it doesn't look that pale. Let me just sort of try to, whoa, okay, no, it is not very pale. Um, I don't know how well you can see this. It feels nice though, like that really did glide on, but it is, again, just oh so very orange. And I know you're not meant to swatch foundation on your wrist, but honestly, I've swatched foundation on my wrist and on my like jawline before and it looks the same. I am translucent. Um, that is very dark. Um, but I think I'm pretty sure I've heard really good things about this foundation, like not for pale people, but in general. So I really wanna make it work. I don't know with this being a stick foundation, how I would mix it with white, but I will experiment and see how I go. Ooh, next up is a blush and it's one of the Kat Von D shade and light blushes which i'm pretty sure didn't do too well which is a shame because i like them i have bonnie and clyde and i that's the only one i have but i really really love that this one is morticia and gomez i got it partially just for the name i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but also because as i say i love my other one and the colors did look pretty they're not hugely different from bonnie and clyde but they're a little less like they're a little more muted pink i think bonnie and clyde's like a little bit brighter so and it's always good to have another blush. So I got this. Aha! Now here's something that'll be pale enough. This will be too pale. Um, I had an idea of what I wanted to do with this experimentation wise, but I've forgotten. But this is the MAC Full Coverage, full coverage Foundation in white. <laughs> Actual white. This is the only way we can do this. I wonder, since it looks kind of creamy, would there be a way of me mixing this with the, the stick one? I don't know. But um, yes, I now have a full coverage, straight up white foundation. So yeah, like it kind of reminds me of like face paint. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to sort of mix this down. I don't, per I know a lot of goth people do like to just go straight up sort of claw and white. I don't really like to, I like to just be as pale as I can while still, you know, staying. Cause I mean, I'm, I could not be bothered putting foundation all over my neck and my chest and my hands or, However it's done, I don't have that patience. I don't I don't want to deal with getting stuff all over my clothes. So I'm not a white face person. I prefer to just sort of go with something that can, like, you know, is close enough to my usual skin, but usually like a little bit paler just because that's what I like. But I will find a way of mixing this and then that will be perfect. I think that may have been all the things I ordered, unless the thing I heard fall was something. I kind of forget. I think that's everything. So the last thing then is two Yes, two little samples. I have, I don't know what the hell this is, hold on. <laughs> oh, so I have a Glam Glow Dream Duo uh, sample, which I'm interested in because I do love me some Glam Glow. And this has green tea leaf teoxy, whatever that is. Um, and it seems to be these like two little steps in it. And I love skincare stuff, so I am looking forward to playing with that. And then the last little sample is something from Gucci. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a perfume, okay. Hold on. Oh, I love tiny perfume bottles. Let me see it. I got like a really cute little Versace one the other day, like, cause I bought something in Superdrug and it was free and I was like, oh, tiny perfume bottle. Look, got it. <laughs> uh, oh, look how small and cute. It is Gucci Guilty. I think I've heard a lot about this one, but I've, ne ooh, I've never tried it. Let me just kind of bop it on the back of my hand there. I always forget these don't have a spray. Ooh, that's quite nice. Still kind of needs to settle and like, you know, become less chemically, but smells quite nice, I think. I don't know if you can see him lounging over here, like the ridiculous cat that he is. <laughs> 
I'll post a coupon code down below and it's for all new users of Glambox or anyone who hasn't used it before and it'll get you 30% off and that's just uh, for the next 72 hours. I will put the expiration date and time down below along with the coupon code so that you know in case you're watching this way off in the future. Uh, but yeah, it's great, you know, it gets you 30% off and the makeup's already cheap, so then that makes it even cheaper and then you can join me in my obsession of makeup. Um, but yeah, no, it's all good fun and as I say, I have done quite a few videos with Glambot at this point and I still love them, so it's a big thumbs up from me. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope you're prepared for the absolutely ridiculous makeup haul that I have coming at some point. Pray for me. Um, remember to like, comment and subscribe. Tell me what your favourite thing was. Also tell me if there's any makeup you think I should really check out because I'm always interested to know. I do genuinely love makeup. It is just something that brings me much much joy so I'm always looking for recommendations. Consider supporting me on Patreon because it helps this channel out a whole ton and really helps me keep going with this and I just I love you all so much for supporting me on there. It's amazing. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hello lovelies, don't forget to check out the description box down below because I have the discount code for you and I also have a link to my very own Glambot page where they've listed a whole bunch of brands and stuff that I told them that I like, which is really really cool and it has my own little banner and everything, so you check that out. And I'll see you next time, bye!